So it's, I'm Chase, and today I'm going to be te teaching you how to play a song on the guitar. And I'm going to start off with a quote from Jimmy Page that says, I believe every guitar player inherently has something unique about their playing. They just have to identify what makes them different and develop it. So first, I'm going to discuss what's needed and how to adjust your guitar to your playing. Second, and all the supplies you need for that. Second, I'm going to teach you all the notes you need. And then third, I'm going to teach you how to play it all in order. So first, when you get your guitar, you know, you need new strings. And um, James from Guitar Center says that there's different size strings for how much callus you have on your fingers for playing guitar. So these are thinner ones because I haven't played in a while. And the second thing you'll need is a chromatic tuner, which one of the better ones hooks up to your neck or your guitar. You know, instead of the ones you just kind of like play loud. And so this allows you to, you know, tune the guitar by vibration, not by sound. So it's kind of better for tunage. And then the third thing you'll need is, it's kind of optional, but you can use a pick. Some people have bigger fingers, like myself. But I don't usually typically like using pick, but some of them kind of create a more loud vibration than just your finger. So like, versus my finger that goes. So picks can amplify the sound of the vibration of the guitar. And so second, I'm gonna be teaching you how or where the notes are on the guitar. So this is a fret, and so there's one, two, three, four that we're learning. And the three strings we're gonna be using is A, D, and G. And so the first note we're gonna be learning is A, and then the second, which is on the same string on the second fretboard, which is B. And then on the second, same string, but on the fourth fret, this is C sharp. And those are the notes for part of the song. The second one is gonna be on the D string, and this is going to be E on the second fret and F sharp on the fourth fret as well. And the last one we're going to be learning is on the G string. And this is going to be another B. But this is a full octave higher than that. So there's a difference. Same chord, just a little octave higher. So it sounds a little bit different. And then uh, there's a set that we're going to be learning. So the first set is, I'll write that down. There's four parts. Not, not sure if anybody can see this, but it's going to be A, A, A. And that's the first little segment of the Happy Birthday song. Second part is the same thing, actually. And then the third is going to be a little bit different. And so those are all the chords you need, and this is the order of the song. And so now, I'm going to show you how to play them all in order. So the first set is A, which is just the string, twice, and then B, and then another A. So it's... And then you're going to go down to E and D. And the second part is the same thing, but F sharp and then D. The third part is going to be a little bit different. It's going to go down to the G string, which is the note we learned is B. And so that was B, F sharp, C, and then B again. And then the final part is on the F sharp twice. And then back to the C sharp, open A, B, and then A again. And so I showed you the type of strings you'll need when you're first starting out playing, the tuner, all the notes needed to play the song, and how to play it. And so when you play, when you go to a party, people have guitars lying around. They're always everywhere, right? You can show them, you know, at least one song. <laughs> and they'll be happy birthday. Thank you.
Thank you.